Okay, the next step now is to, to register for hosting. Now I use Bluehost. So we're gonna go to bluehost.com. Now one feature I like about Bluehost is after you've registered your main domain name, you can actually add additional domain names to that same account and you don't pay extra. Okay, so again here what you wanna do is to sign up. So you'd click sign up. And then you enter your domain name click next until you finish this registration pro, uh, process. I've already got an account. The next step now is to set up the DNS. So you want to go to my account and then choose that domain name that we've just selected. Okay so now we're gonna go to that domain name that we that we just registered. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna to go to the name servers. So this is where you want to set your name servers to the hosting uh, company that's gonna be hosting your website. So I'm gonna to go to set name servers and then click, I have specific name servers for my domains. So this is where you want to type in ns1.bluehost.com. I'm gonna copy that because the second one is gonna be NS2. And then you click OK. Now, just before I go to the next step, I just need to clarify a few things. Now, Bluehost is going to be the company that will be hosting my website. So this is why I need to add the name servers right here, okay? So I'm just gonna click OK. The next step is to set up the hosting. So I'm gonna to go to Bluehost. Okay, we're here now at bluehost.com. As you can see, the hosting is $5.95 per month. It's very inexpensive, considering the fact that you can have multiple domain names on that account, which is a very, very good feature. Now, if you haven't got a, uh, an account with them, you need, to set up, you need to sign up now. I've already done this stage, so I'm gonna go and log into the control panel. Okay, so I'm just gonna log in. Now, this step is very important because what we're gonna do now is we're going to assign this domain name into our domain manager. This enables us to allow that domain name we're registered with GoDaddy to be hosted with Bluehost. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to domain manager. I'm going to come up here where it says assign a domain name to your cPanel. Right, so what you want to do now is to type in the domain name. So it's laninaproduct.com. So we're just waiting here for this verification to complete. And it's done. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here as Lalina Products directory. And then click add domain. This takes quite a while, so I'm going to, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, we can see... Now our website is showing right there. Let's see what's showing when we type in that domain name. Okay, so this is the page that we get when, um, when we haven't loaded anything on the website.